In this video, let's see a numerical problem asked in the CBSC previous year examination. Year in which it was asked was 2015. And the problem says evaluate the integral of e raised to the power 2x sin 3x plus 1 with respect to x. Now such kind of a question can be done directly you know by integration by parts because here it is one exponential one trigonometric. Exponential function would be the second function with respect to i late and the first would be the sine function. Let us start with the solution. I write solution. So i should be what? It should be first function into integration of second. So e raised to the power 2x upon 2 minus differentiation of first function into integration of second function whole integration with respect to x. I hope you remember that in differentiation the constants are multiplied and the denominator in which it would come would be in case of integration. Now next is what i should be continuing sin 3x plus 1 upon 2 e raised to the power 2x minus constants you keep it outside e raised to the power 2x cos 3x plus 1 dx. Now again see which out of these should be treated as the first function trigonometric second would be exponential copy whatever copies sin 3x plus 1 upon 2 e raised to the power 2x minus 3 upon 2 first function into integration of second function and integration in the denominator 2 would come minus differentiation of first cause differentiation is minus sign so differentiation of first minus was there 1 for integration formula and 1 for cause differentiation. So minus minus is plus. So first function into integration of second minus differentiation of first into integration of second whole integration. Okay dx should not come in the denominator. It was due to lack of space. I will be writing it here. Now see whether certain things are beneficial. As you can see, my question was e raised to the power 2x sin 3x plus 1. And here also it is e raised to the power 2x sin 3x plus 1. As you know, the question was i. Here it is i. So here also I can substitute by i, right? Because integration of the question itself is coming out to be here. And that is what I needed to evaluate. Now as you can see, I told you that here it should be i only because sin 3x plus 1 e raised to the power 2x integration is i. So let me change it with i. So here it is i is equal to sin 3x plus 1 e raised to the power 2x upon 2 minus 3 by 4 cos 3x plus 1 e raised to the power 2x. Now minus and plus would make it minus. 3 and 3 would make it 9, 2 and 2 would make it 4. So minus 9 by 4 i because rest everything is the integral itself. Now what is i plus 9 by 4 i? It is nothing but 13 by 4 i is equal to what we are getting. We are getting it as sine 3x plus 1 e raised to the power 2x upon 2 minus 3 by 4 cos 3x plus 1 e raised to the power 2x and plus c everywhere I will be writing due to the constant of integration. Now do I need i? Yes I do need i. So I do not need 13 by 4. So let me take 13 by 4 to the other side. So 13 by 4 to the other side would be nothing but 4 by 13 and e raised to the power 2x can come common from both. So it is nothing but i is equal to 4 by 13 multiply by e raised to the power 2x sine 3x plus 1 upon 2 minus 3 by 4 cos 3x plus 1 plus c. Let me check with the answer. I know that 4 by 13 is already here. So rest everything would be same. And another step that you can follow is you can introduce 4 inside and cancel whatever cancels. But that doesn't change. The final answer is the last step shown.